Hello everyone, in this video I will integrate my FortiGate firewall with Windows Active Directory. By doing this, I can write the policy based on logged on users to their desktops. For example, for one security group, I can write a policy that can be accessed to Facebook and for another group, Facebook will be blocked. Or allow internet just for specific users that rise in security group. Writing policy is depend on your environment. To integrate FortiGate and Windows Domain Controller, I have to install FortiGate FSSO agent on Domain Controller. To download this, we need to have an access to Fortinet.com. As you can see, this is my topology. I have a test PC, Domain Controller and FortiGate. I will allow access to the internet for a specific group that contain internet access privileged users. If I log in with privileged user, I will have an internet access, but with another users, I cannot access to the internet. Okay, let's start configuration from domain controller. Because this is my test environment, I have to write some rules on my domain controller. You don't need to do in your environment. This policy is used for access client PC to domain controller. Now I am going to download FortiGate FSSO agent on my domain controller. Login to Fortinet.com Click on FrameWave Download. Again, FrameWave Download. You have to download FSSO for the same version as your firewall. As you can see, my FortiGate FrameWave version is 7.4.0. Click on Download. Seven point four, seven point four point zero, FSSO. As you can see, we have a different files here. I need to download FSSO setup x sixty four. Downloaded. Click on it to run. Next, I accept, next, next, write user that have an administrator privilege on domain controller. Don't touch to this configuration, default settings are more simple and useful. Next, install.
Check launch agent install wizard and click on finish. Write your domain controller IP address as a controller agent IP address. Next. Select your domain that you want to integrate to FortiGate. Next. In this section you can skip users that don't want to monitor. For example service accounts. Next. Select domain controller and check windows security event logs. Next. Finish. Now open configure FortiGate single sign on. In this section you can write password to authenticate FortiGate firewalls to connect to this agent. Apply. Check Active Directory users and computers. As you can see user 1 is my test users that will be accessed to internet. Create a new group. Add user 1 to this group. I will write a policy and use allow internet security group on FortiGate. Don't forget to turn off your windows firewall. Come back to firewall to add a domain controller as an external fabric connector. Create a new. Select FSSO agent on Windows AD. Write the name as a description. Write domain controller IP address that agent installed on it. Write a password that I set in the agent configuration earlier. Select controller agent to simplify your configuration of firewall. Apply and refresh. Okay, as you can see, FortiGate collect my groups on the main controller. Click on view. There are groups on my active directory. Hello Internet is a security group that I created earlier. That's here as you can see. Now I am going to write a policy that allow access for internet for users that member of allow internet security group. In here select all as address and from user tab select security group. All my security groups in domain appears here. Select allow internet. Okay.
From show service status, you can see integrated firewall. This is my domain controller. Show login users show the user that authenticated from domain controller. As you can see here, this is administrator account that I already logged in. Now I am logging to my test PC with administrator username that's not member of Allo Internet Group. Let's check internet connection. As you can see, not any hit count on this policy. Administrator is not in this group. Agent collect information that administrator logged in from this IP. google.com Okay, administrator don't have any internet access. Now, sign up and login with user1 account. Refresh the list. Collector, get the information that user1 login from this IP address. As you can see, traffic passed from this policy. Check google.com. Okay, that's work. You can also add another collectors here to make your system more reliable. I hope this video was useful to manage your network and user access to network. By integrating your firewall to Windows Active Directory, you can provide mobility of policies. Because policies is based on users and no IP address. If your user moved from one PC to another, all related policies applies to new IP address that users logged in. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and watch another videos. Don't forget to like video. Also, if you have any question, you can ask in the comments. Have a good day. Bye bye.